My name is Dr. James O'Dell. I'm a naturopathic physician. I studied traditional Chinese medicine in China for three years. Uh, during the early 90s, I went to Europe and studied biological medicine in Switzerland and Germany, and that's where I became familiar with contact regulation thermography. Contact regulation thermography is a diagnostic based on thermoregulation. Thermoregulation is simply the body's ability to thermoregulate or to control its temperature. CRT is a way, a functional way, of measuring points on the body, 119 points that overlie organs, glands, and tissues. It's non-invasive, doesn't involve any radiation, and it's very safe. So what we're looking at is the change in organs, glands, and tissues when they're exposed to a cold challenge. So we measure the points, and then we expose the person to a cold challenge, and then we measure these points a second time. This gives us information about the underlying organ, gland, or tissue's functionality. This is an example of a CRT graphic. Here we have in the top part with the computer analysis of the graphic. And we have the the actual graphic below. I would mentioned this is a two-part measurement. Here we have the first part is before the cold challenge, that's the little black line, and the second part is the red line, that's after a 10-minute cold challenge. Normally, in the body, it should cool down, so it should go from hot to cold. But in the head, we see an opposite effect, and this is a normal physiological effect. It goes from cold to hot. So this is what is expected. Anything that deviates from what is expected uh, is considered to be abnormal. When we speak of thermography, most people think of it as a thermal image. Uh, well, thermal imaging has been developed by the military back in, the, in World War II days, uh, where they tracked the night movements of, of troops. It later became involved in the world of medicine, where we take a picture uh, of the body with a thermal image. This is a very useful technique also, but it's quite different than what we're doing with contact thermography. Contact thermography is much more precise. We're able to assess over 20 organs, glands, and tissues with this very precise measurement. Whereas with inf infrared thermography, it's, uh, you get an idea of what's hot, what's cold. We also get an idea of the symmetry of the body, and so it is a useful technique, but it's quite different than contact thermography. It's really a, t uh, a technique that diagnoses more than 20 organs, glands, and tissues, so you're looking at the sinuses, the brain, the thyroid, the thymus, the heart, lungs, uh, liver, gallbladder, pancreas, gastrointestinal system, which includes the stomach, the, the small intestine and the large intestine, the lymphatics, uh, particularly pelvic lymphatics, and in the female, the ovaries and uterus, and the male, the prostate, kidneys, and dental, all of the points on, for the teeth, and the breast. We want to make sure that we are catching things early to, in order to prevent the occurrence of disease instead of using crisis management after the fact. Thermography is very inexpensive compared to some of the other diagnostics out there that are th thousands of dollars. Uh, you're, you're usually spending very little in comparison. Uh, for the, the amount of information that you're getting is really fantastic compared to some of these other diagnostics like MRI, the CAT scans, and even mammographies. It's quite different than in a mammography because it is a, a functional diagnostic and it's predictive, whereas mammography has to uh, show a tumor. A tumor has to be actually present at the time for a mammography to pick it up. Here, we're looking at things that happen prior to a tumor, an event that can predict a tumor sometimes years in advance. This is a very important component of CRT, is its early detection. In my practice, I see pretty much everything from A to Z, but I found that contact regulation thermography is one of the most important diagnostics that I have in my practice. Thank you.